Hey, what's going on guys? It is Seth here from the Cruising Classics YouTube channel showcasing this 1972 Buick Grand Sport Stage 1 we just got in. Beautiful car, dressed in metallic blue. I forget the actual color code on the car, but you can see it does have a black vinyl top. Sitting on a brand new set of BF Goodrich radial TAs. And of course the rally wheels. Very nice color on this car. Great stance as well. You can see it does have the Ram Air style hood. Again, gorgeous paint on this car. This is a real stage one as well. Does have a 455 cubic inch V8 under the hood. Made it to a uh, tur turbo 400. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. Show you guys under the door. Hopefully you guys can see that. <clears throat> nice interior on this car as well. Hopefully the camera's focusing there on the door panel. Bench seat column shift car. Does have cold AC as well. Dash pads in great shape. But you can see the odometer reads, hopefully you can see it. 90,106 miles. Only thing that doesn't work on the car that I've found so far is the radio does not work. But again, the car does have working cold air conditioning. Love the wood grain throughout the trim as well. That's really cool. Let's go ahead and step out. We'll take a look inside the trunk. the trunk springs are really good trunk flies up as soon as you crack open the key you can see it does have a full-size spear but this one does have a Goodyear Eagle radial tire on it but you'll see your quarter panels Shape. Car's nice and straight as well on both sides. No visible bodywork on the car as well, so when you look at the car, you know you don't see any round circles where somebody patched it with Bondo um, or anything like that. It's a nice straight car. Again, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but your dome lights on both sides, or interior lights rather, are working. the carpets nice comfy seat as well doesn't feel like the seat springs are blown out like you see in some of these older cars mm -hmm. 
nice easy closing door you guys heard that but you can see your vinyl tops in great shape looks pretty new glass is in great shape as well let's go ahead and step up to the front we'll pop the hood show you guys what's hiding under there Alrighty guys, here's an engine bay shot on the GS. Again, see your hood vents there and your foam blocks, which are in great shape. Sometimes on these cars, you see these all deteriorated and they've fallen down in there or fallen down in the engine bay. It's not the case. Those ones look pretty new. Again, it's a 455, made it to a turbo 400. See your factory AC there. Again, does blow cold. I have to mention that just so people do know. But it looks like it has MSD ignition, brick painted block, it does have power disc brakes up front, drums in the back. Really cool car. I dig it. Let's go ahead and get inside of it, fire it up, show you guys that there's no knocks, no ticks. We'll check out the headlights, make sure those work. I'll turn on the AC as well. <clears throat> Here, our door buzzer. Turn on the headlights. I did see that the reverse light's working. Um, when I was backing up, you can see the garage door back there. I did see that those were working. Let's go turn on the AC. Hear the compressor kick on. And she's coming out of the vents. Nice and cold. Have to take my word for it because sadly you guys can't feel it through the camera. <laughs> Great sounding cam on this car as well. guys can see that the compressor is spinning it's not locked up so you guys obviously can take my word for it but it is working now you can see our two outer headlights are working hard to see but the two turn signals down there are working as well corner marker light there is working Our four bulbs back here are working as well. Great sounding cam, like I said. But alrighty guys, you guys know what's coming next. We'll go ahead and hop in this thing. We'll take it for a drive. We'll see how she does. Alrighty guys, just pulled out of the showroom. Got the AC on full blast. We're gonna be taking this GS just down the road, show you guys that it does go through all the gears okay. And obviously runs and drives. Again, really cool car guys. It's not too often you see these. I'm glad I had the opportunity to film this car and obviously drive it. But again, I do have the AC on full blast. The only thing I've figured out that doesn't work on the car is the original radio, but I mean, if I'm buying this car and I'm gonna drive it, I'm probably gonna put a retro sound radio on it that has Bluetooth, USB, AFM, you know, just a reliable radio. I understand some of you guys like the classic original radio, um, but, you know, personal preference, maybe you guys can source somebody to fix it, or maybe you wanna just put a retro sound radio on it like I would. It's completely up to you guys. Um, but ever seen, everything else with the car I found works, and. Uh, as you guys can see, it runs and drives great, so. Love the, th the steering wheel. I've always liked these steering wheels. They're not real thick. You can easily grasp it with two fingers and drive the car real nice, so. Again, these are all personal preference things, so. Maybe you see things you would change out on the car. Yeah, if you guys are familiar with the video, you'll know we'll just go over these two bridges, then we'll find a good place to turn around and head back. 
but so far man this car rides really well you can tell in the video i'm not bouncing up and down again the seat springs feel nice and uh not firm it's kind of in between you know there's there's definitely some cushion there but you're not sitting on a, a hard rock um like some people mess up on when they're redoing these seats but again it's probably just a personal preference thing but the suspension feels great i know this car has monroe shocks all the way around uh, I personally have those on my car as well, and I, I love how they ride. But just cruising 50, just under probably 1700 RPM. We'll go ahead and make a U-turn in our usual spot make our way back to the showroom the car does have great oil pressure as well nice firm shifts I'm probably about 25% throttle right now gets right up to speed. I do have the AC on, so I'm not gonna floor it. No reason to floor it anyhow. Yeah, guys, if you're interested in this car, feel free to give us a phone call at 614. 276-7355 again our phone number is 614-276-7355 uh, if you guys have any questions like i said give us a call uh, we can also get you a shipping quote directly to your front door we work with multiple uh, transporters that we personally trust you know that way your car doesn't get put out there on you ship and get brokered and you've got 50 phone calls um, people we use are all enclosed transporters We've been working with them for years, um, and, and they're just great people. Great prices as well. I mean, you, you can't beat them. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. We're coming up to a red light. No reason to let you guys sit around through that. So if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Helps our videos get discovered. Helps us sell more cars. Helps you find maybe your dream car. And uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have a great day.